telling you right now, it needs to stop because it's not going to go on. Here, I don't care what was went on in, in, in New York, in Richmond, in Durham. Hey Amen. We're not going to have that here. Hey, Amen. I as a pastor, hey, I'm telling you, we're not going to have that here. Amen. He's either going to do right. Amen. Or you're not going to do it all. Because God is tired of it. Amen. He's either going to learn to love one another in sincerity and pray for one another. You have the greatest thing in common, salvation. Amen. Why do you want to tear down one another? Amen. Why? Amen? Amen. 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 Some people got a problem, you know, Mother Bob says something, some people got a problem with it. Yeah, I'm getting you today. Amen. Here it come. Amen. Shouldn't have a problem with it. Amen. 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 Young people need to respect her. And they need to respect Missionary Wilson, Missionary Walker, Amen, Amen. Missionary Brown, Amen, as saints of God. Amen. Amen. You need to respect that. Amen. That does not give them license to tear you down. That's right. Amen. That's right. But Mother Parks is the mother of the church. Amen. And she needs to be respected. Amen. As the mother of the church. Amen. 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 And I know most of you do that. But you know, amen, we want everybody to be, you've got to be on one accord. See, the Bible said when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Amen. amen. Jesus. They were in one place on Hallelujah. one accord. Amen. The secret to success is that everybody's on the same page. Amen. We want to be successful, not in a football game, not in a board meeting, but we want to be successful in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 So we have to be on the same page. Amen. The problem is we got mavericks. Amen. God don't need mavericks. God needs those saints Amen. that are going to be faithful to the end. Hey, yes. that are willing to do His will. Hey, support. Amen. Amen. God don't have time. Find out that He's coming in a moment that we think not. Amen. Amen. Some of us think that we're ready. But I tell you again, today, this morning, examine yourself. Amen. Amen. Eternal Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for all things. We thank you for, Lord Jesus Christ, your word. Thank you for your people, Lord, as we come before them. Lord, give us what to say and how to say it. In Jesus' name, Lord, that your will may be done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 And I'm going to be reading from the 25th chapter of St. Matthew, talking about the parable of the ten virgins. Amen. Because some of us feel that we are ready when we're not. Amen. Amen. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins who took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. And they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Some of you need some oil yes, in your land. Hey! Hey, hey, my God. Hey! Some of you need the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. We're often impressed by all this Hakim Messiah and all that, but I tell you what's going to get to heaven is the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Joy, yes. meekness, yes. love, peace. Jesus. Yes. I find out the Bible said, believe not every spirit. Amen. There's some folks that are bold. Mm -hmm. They'll pass off something. They didn't get it from God, but they'll pass it off as of God. That's true. But the Bible said, believe not every spirit. Amen. If we're going to go to heaven, we got to be right. Because if we're not right, we're going to waste our time in the house of God. Amen. Get your mind on Jesus. Amen. Amen. And some of them, five of them were wise and five were foolish. They got some folks that think they're on their way. God said, not so. Amen. Amen. Even when we read the communion scripture, what does it say? Let those, let them take communion. But the Bible said, and the rest will I set in order. Amen. 
when I come. Amen. Amen. If any, anybody want to come, they can take him. I may tell them not to. I may tell them it's not, you know, don't don't put yourself on the condemnation of the Lord if you're not saved, if you're not living right. Amen. But I'm not going to physically take him from the communion table. Amen. 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 Because the word of God does, does not say that. Amen. We got to be careful, saints. Amen. Because God is coming back. Yes. Amen. Amen. Not everybody that say, Lord, Lord, on that day, not everybody. You got to make sure, don't be, amen, halfway sure. Amen. But you got to be sure. Yes. Amen. And they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tired, all, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, and behold, the bridegroom coming, go ye out to meet him. There was a time, an appointed time, that the bridegroom came. Yes. There is an appointed time for the return of the Lord. Amen. I might not know it, you might not know it, but there is an appointed time. Amen. It's, there's going to be a midnight hour for this world. Oh, yes. Hey! When the Lord come back. Take the time out. Amen. We got to pray. They got to come to prayer. 
Amen. How is a person going to get saved Amen. if they don't come to prayer? Amen. 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 How? Amen. Amen. I don't. I don't want. You need to spend some time. God needs to deal with you. Amen. Amen. On His terms. Amen. 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 This is a serious thing. Mm -hmm. It is. It's important. We talk about we're re oh, I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready. No, no. God says, hold on. Not so. Mm -hmm. God said today you need to examine yourself. <laughs> there were five versions that thought they were okay. Find out they didn't have. See that oil on the inside. That's the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Hey! Yes, sir. I'm God. Hey! That's the Holy Ghost. Hey! It's like a car engine. Yes. That car, yes, that is all a lubricates that yes, engine, sir. and it keeps it running yes, efficiently yes, and right. Yes. The car works, yes. but the minute that car, that oil loses what they call its viscosity, yes. its ability to lubricate the parts in the engine, yes. the engine is going to cease. Yes, Amen. sir. tear him down. Amen. Amen. Because they're young. He's not like me. Amen. See, if somebody called me stupid, I might laugh. Amen? Amen. Because I know in whom I believe. Yeah. I'm 50 years old. I should have. Amen. So, Amen. I should know who I am. Amen. Amen. So if somebody call you something, you should be able to but for a child, it's different. That's true. Especially if grandma or grandpa or mommy and dad, oh, you're, you're stupid. It's going to hurt. Amen. And it's the same thing in the house of God. Amen. Amen. You, amen. A young saint, you're stupid, you're this, you're that. It don't work like that. No. Amen. amen. That's not the way the Holy Ghost works. Amen. 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 I'm telling you. It, 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 that, that does... That does not edify anybody. Amen. 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 And I'm going to tell you, I challenge you, what we should worry about is praying that they're living holy. Amen. They ain't got no boyfriend out there on the side. Amen. That's what we need to pray about. That's right. Amen. 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 If my shoes don't match my amen suit, it doesn't make me unholy. Amen. 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 And if they match, it doesn't make me holy out. What I live. We get caught up in all these other things and this and that. Amen. And I'm not saying you can't give them instruction. But some common sense. And sometimes I find out, sometimes I go to somebody else and I say, you know, such and such. Is it me? Am I reading the situation the wrong way? Amen. Or do you see the same thing? Amen. Up to now they say, yeah, I see the same thing. It's not you. Okay. Where two or more gathered together, there I am also in the midst. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes I can see something and I can blow it out of proportion. That's, that's right. true. Amen. I'm capable of doing it and so are you. Yeah, that's right. Amen. You blow it out of proportion. And sometimes you need somebody to say, oh, no. Well, you know, Pastor Paul, that's not really. Amen. That's it's not really significant. Or oh, oh, Pastor Box, you know what? I'll talk to them about it. I said, fine, okay. Amen. But you don't tear down. Amen. It's important. Amen? Amen. Amen. We ought to the, the Bible said, forbearing one another. Amen. Be kindly affectionate. 
to one another. Yes. Amen. 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 Because people, the Lord is coming back, saints. Amen. Amen. And he goes on to read. And all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps have gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him, and the, into the marriage, and the door was shut. See, it's not going to be based on what I do, Amen. or any other pastor. Some of you like to run from this pastor to that pastor, run here, run there, like somehow we're going to save you. Amen. It doesn't work that way. Amen. Amen. You got to have a relationship with God. And when you have the right relationship, you're going to be a person that's settled. Amen. 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 God settles you down. Amen. You don't got you going here, there, and everywhere else. Amen. Amen. And I find this, if you're not happy, you're going to take that unhappiness with you wherever you go. Amen. Because if you can't be happy in Jesus Christ, something's wrong. Amen. I mean, if you can't be content, I don't mean every day you're laughing, every minute you're, but I mean there's a deep contentment, Amen. an abiding contentment. And you know when you have it, it's not when things are going good. But you know you have it when things are not going good. When there's stuff going on in your life. Well, and yes, sir, you can still say God is good. And you can think about the goodness of God. And you can realize, guess what? This little thing that I'm going through is just for a moment. Lord, I know. Even if you haven't brought me out yet, I know. Lord, deliverance is on the way. So why should I walk around with a frown on my face? Amen. I am a saint of God. Yes. Lord, you are the head of my life, and there's nothing in my life that happens that you don't see. You know my problems. You know me, Lord. Yes. Amen. You know my coming and my going. Yes. You know my situation. Yes. So I know, Lord, you got a way out for me. Amen. <coughs> but some of us don't think that way. Amen. We try to help God out. We try to do it ourselves. Amen. Sometimes when we see something that we think is wrong, instead of praying about it, we try to take it and grab the bow by the horn. That may work in the world, but you got to learn to walk with God. Amen. And what that means, you got to learn how to trust Him. Yes. And you got to learn how to lean not into your own understanding. Amen. Because sometimes your understanding, my understanding, is short. Yes. It's not complete. Yes. There's a problem with it. Amen. But the understanding of God is always right. Amen. Amen. And afterward came unto the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. And this is sad. Mm -hmm. And he answered and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I know you not. It's not what you profess to others or what you project to others. But you got to examine yourself and ask the Lord, Lord, what do you think of me Amen. today? Because that's going to be the ultimate thing. I mean, some people, they want to be front and center all the time, and they think that's going to get them to heaven. See, a lot of times, you see, you don't understand. As a pastor, you got to watch people. And sometimes, sometimes, you got to allow them to step in that ditch and fall down. That's yeah, that sounds strange, but it's true. Amen. Because you got to watch what people do. Amen. There are some people that will accept the job that doesn't get them notoriety. Mm -hmm. But because they're doing it as unto the Lord, Amen. they are satisfied. Mm -hmm. Amen. They may not get be front and center, but they're happy because they're just grateful that God saved them. Amen. And whatever they can do, mm -hmm. it is a blessing to serve Jesus. Amen. I don't have to be seen. I don't have to be front and center. Because I'm serving the living God, the God of my salvation. Amen. I don't have to be all these things. Amen. God has been good. It's just a pleasure. Somebody said, if I could be a doorkeeper. Doorkeeper is very important. It may not seem that way, but it's very important. Amen. There's no unimportant jobs in the house of God. Amen. There's some jobs that you will be seen doing, and some jobs, most jobs, you won't. Now, you have to ask yourself, 
Amen. What is your life? They, they do an acting. What's your motivation? Amen. You ever hear that expression? Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, it, it's related to acting. Method, what's your motivation? Well, God is asking, what's your motivation? Amen. It's serving me. Amen. See, because of just for yourself, just to be seen, you don't know God. That's true. And when that day comes, God is going to say, depart from me. Amen. Verily, verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch ye therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherewith the Son of Man cometh. And it's important. You don't want God to say, Barely, barely, I know you're not. You put in all this time. Amen. In church. It's, you know, like I said, one of the things that, has, that I've learned over the past two, three years, and it's a really amazing me. How there are so many people in the house of God that have been walked with God for so long, professing they have, and they know very little about how God works. They can come up here, they can shout, they can praise God, speak in some kind of tongue. But when it comes to living the life according to the word of God, when it comes to trusting God, when it comes to stepping out by faith, when it comes to exemplifying love, what does the Bible say? What does the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians say? Yes. What does it say? Do I give my body to be burned? Yes. I give all my worldly possession. Well. If I have not charity, it profited me nothing. Amen. Lord, if I understand all mysteries and all things you know the coming and going but if I have not charity which means love Amen. because when you have love it covers what a multitude of sin when you have love you want to know how to speak the truth to your brother and sister in love Amen. it does not mean you want to water down the gospel Amen. but you want to tell them the Lord loves you and I don't want to see you mess up. I don't want to see you make heaven. That's right. Yeah, that's true. You should think about this or consider that. Amen. But you don't, boy, you're stupid. You're dumb and keep going. Amen. That cuts. Yes. And then I'm going to wonder, what did I do wrong? Amen? Amen. Think about it. Amen. It's important. You have to learn. Not everything, I find this, saints, you can't say everything that comes to your mouth. Amen. No, I learned that as a sinner. Amen. You know there's sinners that don't do that. No, Believe it or not, there's sinners mm -hmm. that know how to possess their tongue better than saints a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Some sinners, amen, they won't say, they, or they'll try to tell you something in a nice way. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Now, there's some people, they may say, you know, well, it is new deodorant, and it really keeps me um, smelling good the whole day mm -hmm. through. Praise the Lord. Amen. It, re it really works for me. <laughs> Want some? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some people will go, boy, you stink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I said before, that's going to hurt. Yes, Amen. yes it does. That's going to hurt. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But if you, and you know, when you do that with love, a lot of times, too, when you do that with love, approach them with love, not everybody's going to accept it. No, that's no. true. But the, the thing about it is, you've done what God told you to Amen. do. Amen. Amen. See, serving the Lord is not dependent upon other people. Amen. It's what you do. Yes. Amen. 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 We were talking about that in the lesson, and we talked about that last week. Amen. It's not what people do to you. Because look, we've all sinned against God. Amen. We all in need of forgiveness. But you know what? He loved us so much. Amen. He was willing to overlook that sin and go to the cross for you and I. Amen. And we didn't even deserve it. But guess what? He did it for us because he loved us. And he wants us to be reconciled back with him. Even though we're cheating, we're conniving, and all this other stuff. You know, you read the Old Testament, how many times they failed God? Mm -hmm. How many times they broke the covenant with God that they made with God? Yet still he kept on taking them back. 
He kept on hearing their cries mm -hmm. of repentance, and he kept on giving them chance after chance after chance. Mm -hmm. He exemplified his word when he said, how many times, amen, shall I forgive my brother? Yes. 70 times 7 mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. If you do that, you'll never not forgive them. That's the point. Amen. You know what some people will do? I'm going to tell you what, how, how, how silly some people are. So that's 490 times. You know what? They'll start counting. I forgive you then once, two. You'd be surprised what goes through people's minds. Mm -hmm. It's 490. I don't have to forgive you no more. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. But that's how people are. Amen. You'd be surprised. Now, what if Jesus did that to you? Well, mm -hmm. I thank God there's no start statute of limitations. Amen. 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 I thank God that He forgives me and He loves me every day. I mean, because I don't want to end up like the foolish virgins. No oil. Well. In their lap. Well. Saints, it's time to come to God and come the right way. It's not time, amen, they're ready to pray for you. It's not time for you and I to play church. Amen. It's time for us to live safe and be safe. Be amen. an example of a believer. Amen. amen.